Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So today I'm going to be talking to you about forgiveness. Now, forgiveness, I mean, there's just so many things that forgiveness can be used for. It can be used as a way to let go of your own pain and hurt. It can be a way to connect and build closer relationships with the people that you love. But forgiveness is something that's not always that easy to do. In fact, I know many, many people who find it really, really hard to forgive. And the reason for that is that we, we hold, it makes us feel good to blame somebody else, to make somebody else other than us wrong. It makes us feel like we're standing on higher moral ground and it makes us feel good about ourselves. But it's a false good feeling. It's not a true good feeling because what it really does is it creates distance between us and others. And when we hold ourselves as right and somebody else as wrong, we cut ourselves off, not just from that person, but from other people in similar situations. And also, when we don't forgive somebody, we tend to hold, hold on to the hurt and the pain from the incident that happened. And I think it's Buddha, but I don't necessarily know if it was exactly in relation to forgiveness, but it works as just as well for this particular one as it does for, I think it was anger that he was talking about. And he says that it's like a hot coal. It's like holding onto a hot coal, waiting to throw it at somebody. And that to me is what not forgiving somebody is like. Holding onto that hot coal of pain and hurt and anger and everything else and waiting to throw it at somebody else. Because when we don't forgive somebody, we punish them. And we do it in funny ways. We do it by ignoring them, shouting at them, speaking badly about them. There are so many ways, and we're very inventive, us humans, to punish somebody. And when you don't forgive somebody, consciously or unconsciously, you are trying to punish them in some way or form. Now, forgiveness has a number of steps. And the first step for forgiveness is, is deciding that you truly want to forgive somebody and understanding that you're doing it for yourself as much as you are for that person. So that's the first step, choosing to forgive, because it is a choice. The second step is realising that the person that you are choosing to forgive only did what they did because they didn't think they had any other choice. Now, I know if you are stuck on forgiveness that you're going to recoil at that suggestion and think that I've gone nuts, but it's actually true. Because the way that we are in our survival mechanisms, our ego, our beliefs, and all the things that I talk about in these little episodes, all of those things are to do with survival and ensuring we survive as a human being. And we're programmed to take whatever action that we possibly can to ensure our survival. Now, we don't always have all of the right answers and we don't always know the best way to go about things to ensure that other people don't get hurt. So sometimes when we're cornered and when we don't feel like we have any other options, we resort to behaving in a way that we wouldn't like to behave. And I'm sure if you look back through your life, you will see that there have been times in your life when you've done things that you really wish that you hadn't. And those things didn't come from the truth of who you are, from the goodness of your soul that you really truly are. They come from the part of you that is trying to survive in this world. And other people are subject to exactly the same things that you are. They also get put into corners where they think that the only way out of that particular corner is to behave in a certain way that causes harm to others. And when we can see that this is part of the human condition, then what we're forgiving is the human condition, not the actions, not what was done, what was said, what was implied and whatever. We're forgiving the humanness that thought that that was the only way that that person could possibly have survived was, was by doing whatever it was that they did in that particular point in time. What I'd also like to ask you is to think about yourself and to look back in your life to a time when you did something that you aren't really happy about and to ask yourself if you've changed since then, if given those circumstances you might have made a different choice now with what you know now. Because the one thing that is, well, one thing, there are many things, but one of the things about life is that we are constantly growing and learning and adapting and changing, all of us, however unlikely you think it is for some people. And we learn, and given time, given um, learning experiences, given wisdom, 
we might make a different choice given those circumstances in the future. Um, so that's so I'm just going to recap so that I can catch up with where we are. So the first step is deciding to forgive. The second step is seeing the humanity, that need to survive that causes us to cause pain to other people and do things that aren't always in alignment with the truth of who we are. The third step is realising that although somebody might have done something now that was unforgivable in your eyes, that in future they might make different choices given different learnings, given a sort of deeper wisdom or deeper understanding on their part. And the fourth step is to forgive. And to and you only know, well, I've, this is something I've realised fairly recently, is I know if I have truly forgiven somebody, if I am ready and open hearted to ask them to forgive me, because we both play a part. It's like a dance. Somebody cannot cause us harm unless we are in that scenario with them. And by being in that scenario with them, we add and we contribute as much to the scenario as we would do if we weren't. So that's my little bit on forgiveness. So I'll just run through those steps. Deciding to forgive, understanding that it's the humanness, the need to survive that causes people to do hurtful things. Understanding that people can grow and change and the choices they've made now might not be the choices they would make in the future. And fourthly, deciding to forgive and actually forgiving the person. And you'll know that you've forgiven them when you can look back on things and you could actually feel that you could ask them for forgiveness too. Um, I'm going to be running a short course next week and if you want to join up it's free. It's all about abundance and manifestation and I will make sure I've popped a link to that in the notes below along with links to uh, my website, um, any of the resources and everything else will be in the show notes below. Thank you so very much for joining me and so much love from me to you. Bye bye.